Janie, welcome to another video on to my channel. A, a giant subscriber package that I got from Sandra and Madison, a very sweet mother and daughter who sent me their dolls that they got from thrift stores that they weren't going to keep. And I have gotten some amazing things and a ton of doll clothes again. And if you guys missed that video, you should totally check it out. I will put a link in the description as usual, but there are a bunch more dolls to get through and I am going to go ahead and get started and I am over the moon for the doll I'm about to pull out right now. It is Esmeralda. Now, as you know, Esmeralda is my favorite, Hunchback of Notre Dame is my favorite animated Disney film and Esmeralda is one of my favorite characters and she is in amazing condition. She's even in better condition than the one I already have. She is absolutely gorgeous. Mine just has her dress, but this one has the dress, the overskirt, the bracelets, and the anklet, which is super exciting. And she comes with her wedding dress. I am so excited. I love Esmeralda and this one is in amazing shape and her hair is so fluffy and soft. She's like almost brand new. So I am so, so, so excited about her. She is definitely one of my favorite things in this box and I'm going to go ahead and keep moving forward because there are a lot more dolls to go through. Here is a Enchantimal. She is the um, peacock one. I do have her already. She's actually up there, but I do not mind having two. I think enchantimals are adorable and all of these dolls smell really, really nice. Like for dolls that you got from thrift stores, they smell pretty great. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on moving. She is very, very cute. There are a couple more clothing pieces in here. There is a little Barbie hair clip, which has like the Barbie ponytail logo. This really nice top that comes from the Disney Store Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I do not have any of the Disney Store live action ones, but I have this top, which is super exciting. And then there is this very beautiful shimmery purple Barbie dress. Moving on, there is this awesome skipper. She even has her shoes and I really, really like these skipper shoes. They're super great and she's even dressed. I love that a lot of these dolls have clothes and this doll has like the loose legs so i think she's one of the ones that like rides the bikes or something like that but she is in great condition her hair is nice and soft and shiny and she is a very very cute skipper i don't think i have her already that is what her face looks like she's very very nice the next doll is this barbie and it, she has a hand that looks like she's holding the leash of a dog so this is probably one of the dog walking ones she is wearing an outfit that does not belong to her but looks really good on her nevertheless actually it's got a really low waist it's got this really fun black cutout in the front and then a bow and she's got a middle part which is very interesting not a lot of barbies have moving forward there's a lot of disney dolls in here which i am really really enjoying i do not have this one this is another mattel ariel and she is in a really cute bikini and her hair is actually pretty short and it's got a lot of little curls in it and it's very 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 cute i really like it it makes it look super fun and like summery i think i'm gonna like pull it back and then clip it right here and let all of these curls just have the time of their lives she's very very cute and her hair is a lot of fun to actually play with Ooh, she's pretty. I do not have this one. This is a Tinkerbell and she is really, really pretty. I really like her face. I do not have this one and her hair is in really nice condition as well. I always get really nervous when I have, I always get really nervous when I get dolls with nylon hair because if they're not in good shape, then I usually have to flat iron them and it's one of the most tedious things ever. But this one has amazing hair and this is such a gorgeous Tinkerbell and she has her wings, which is super exciting and they're not broken, which is the case for most of my Tinkerbell dolls. So this is amazing. She is very, very pretty. The next one is a Disney Store Ariel. Now she has cut hair, but it looks like it's been evened out to work really well. I'm definitely going to keep her even though she has cut hair because I do not have one with this face. And she's actually really pretty. This cut actually looks pretty okay on her. I really like it. And she doesn't have clothes, but that's okay. Her hair is really, really nice and soft. And the next doll is this one, which is a more vintage Barbie. And it looks like her hair has already been fixed also. It's really nice and soft. And it looks like it's been straightened. 
she's really cool she's got z's in her eyes i don't know which barbie she is but she's got little z's in her eyes i don't think you can see it but she's really pretty and she's wearing this really fun dress it's very very crinkly and it's very shiny it's like messing up with my lighting because it's super shiny and it's really really cool though i really like her i am very excited to add her to my vintage barbie collection because i do not have as many as i do more recent ones Okay, there's no way I could not recognize this doll. I have been looking for her for so long. Okay, for my seventh birthday, my aunt got me a got me this doll new in box. She is like a she's like a kid Dr. Barbie, but she's she's got this weird name and I cannot find her anywhere. She came in like a pink and white doctor's top with like capri pants and she came with two babies and one of them had like chicken pox and the other one was like but it, it was a veterinary Barbie and I got rid of her and I really wished I hadn't and I like was never able to find her again and this is her. I am so, so, so excited. She does not have her outfit but I actually kept her outfit but I remember her being one of my favorite Barbies because her makeup is so natural. I am so, so excited right now. I have been looking for this doll forever. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And the outfit she's wearing is pretty cute too. It's a top with a butterfly on it and then some green shorts that is epic i'm super super excited about that okay next doll is this one and this is from frozen fever this is anna or elsa from frozen fever i do not have this doll but i'm very excited i love this face sculpt it's really really nice i like it a lot actually and her hair is in amazing condition also it's very very soft and smooth and yeah it's really really nice i really like this doll a lot these are like all dolls I would buy for myself. So you are doing a great job. And oh my gosh, I love this. I do not have her. She's got a really interesting face. I do not have one that has this face. Her hair is in perfect condition. It needs pretty much nothing. And she's even wearing her dress, which is super, super exciting. Really gorgeous. She's in like perfect condition. This is amazing. This is so exciting. Okay, next doll... Oh, I think I have this one, but I do not have... Mine is not in this nice of shape. And she's wearing a gorgeous blue dress. Her hair bangs are absolutely crazy. They're wild and curly. And here are her earrings. They are little triangles. And she has really fun eyes. She's got purple eyeshadow. And she is very pretty. Her hair is in great condition as well. Next doll... There is literally still so much in here. It's like tons and tons of Barbies. This is super exciting. Okay, the next one is this very, very beautiful doll, I think. Wow, she's beautiful. Okay, I love her. She's one of my favorites. Look at her. She's so pretty. She's got like the Stacy face mold or maybe like the older Skipper. I'm not entirely sure, but she is really, really pretty. She's got a really nice face, and I love her earrings. She's wearing a live dress. Ooh, wardrobe malfunction which fits her really, really well. And she's got really nice hair. It's really soft and thick and smooth. Very exciting. This is one of my favorites. I really like her. If you're able to identify any of these dolls that I said that I didn't know who they were, let me know in the comments who they are because I would really like to know. Next doll is this one. Now, I have this one, but mine has a haircut because she came with cut hair, and this one does not, so that's super exciting. And she's also wearing a very pretty Dr. Barbie dress. She is like the one of the Barbie presidents, I think. She is super nice. I'm super excited to have one with long hair. She's got molded shoes on. She's very, very pretty. That is what she looks like. This is so great. Okay. This is the um, I Can Be Lifeguard Barbie. Now, I do have her already, but I do not mind getting another one. And I do love this top. It's gold, and it says Malibu, California on it. And the number is 59, because the first Barbie was made in 1959. And she's also wearing a pair of swimming trunks, which look really, really nice on her. She's in great condition, just like all of these dolls. This is amazing. Thank you so much for these dolls. Like, I really, really love them. And I'm not even done going through them all. And I'm still, I cannot believe you sent me so many wonderful things. Thank you so, so much. And this Belle doll is absolutely gorgeous. I love Belle. And I love Disney Store Belle. And I love Mattel Belle. I love all the Bells. 
She's really beautiful. She's got the very, very beautiful face sculpt. She does not have clothes, but that's okay. I have some bell dresses that were given to me in the same package. And it looks like her hair has been cleaned and, like, brushed out and everything, too. Which is amazing, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Like, they literally look like... If you bought them like this from the thrift store, then that's crazy. But she is very, very beautiful. I love her a lot. The next doll is a Moana doll from Hasbro. I do not have this one. She's got some crazy hair just like the real Moana and it's really nice and soft actually. She does not have clothing but I do think I have an extra Moana top and skirt somewhere. She's really really nice. She can go with my other Moana. I actually only have two Moana dolls which is a Disney store one and then um, one that came in the very big pack with Maui. Okay moving on. Here is a, another Barbie. Now, I have this one, but I do not mind having another one because she's also a sentimental Barbie to me. She was one of my favorites when I was a kid. I played with her all the time. I have no idea why. There's just something about her face that I loved. And this one actually looks more like the one that I used to have than the one that I have. So, I'm really excited about that because this one looks way more familiar to me than the one that I got. So, I love her and I'm definitely going to be keeping her. She's got an adorable face. She does not have clothes, but I do have an extra of her swimsuit around. Here is a another Stacy doll. I don't think I have this one, and she's also got clothes and shoes, which is amazing. Finding like clothes for Stacy and Skipper can be a real struggle. And she's got on an adorable pair of blue sneakers. And I do have this outfit, but I literally could not care less about having duplicate outfits. I do not have, I'm not that picky. I'm just excited to find clothes. And this outfit looks amazing on her. And she's one of the newer skippers. She's very pretty and her hair is so nice also. I feel like a broken record. I just, I pull out a doll. I say, here's the doll. I love the doll. The doll's in great condition. And then I move on. But it's so true. Now, I do not have this doll. This is a Hasbro Cinderella and she is in pretty much perfect condition. She's got her headband. She's got her dress. She's got her shoes. She's in pretty much perfect condition. Her hair is like immaculate. I love her. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's got a really sweet face and I am super excited about this because I have been tempted to buy Hasbro Cinderella dolls in the past but they have not been in this nice of condition so I've always not bought them. So I'm super excited to have one in amazing condition now. Okay, this doll does not have a head. I'm assuming that she gave her to me as a body donor, which is really great because I actually have a doll that needs this kind of body. So I'm not going to spend too much time on her. I'm going to move on, but I definitely use could use this doll. So thank you for sending her to me, even though she has no head. Ooh, this is one of the uh, Babysitter's Ink dolls. I do not have this one. I have three of the Babysitter Ink dolls, and only one of them was bought new, which was the boy. I have the... Um, Asian one with the black hair and I have one of these skippers and both of those were bought used but this one is absolutely adorable this is the one with the gorgeous curly hair I love AA um, Barbie dolls and I absolutely love this one she's got amazing hair and she's wearing this adorable romper it looks great on her I love it it's got a really cool like geometric like pattern on it and she's got an adorable face this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're getting kind of towards the end. Not really. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen dolls left. But like I've already gone through like 20. So here is this doll. I do not have her, but I do have the blonde version. And I'm super excited to have both versions now. She is super pretty. I like her a lot. She is the um, the doll that comes with like the cat Blissa and like I don't quite remember the name but I do know that I have that one but I do not have the AA variant which is super exciting. She's in amazing condition. Her hair is super soft and smooth and she does not have clothes but that is okay. I got lots of clothes today. Ooh. This is a really new Stacy. If this is a Stacy at all, she's super new. Does she have a silver stamp? She does not. I do not know which Stacy this is, but she is not like any one that I have. She's got a really interesting face. Huh. Yeah, she's really new. Her hair's in a ponytail and it's really nice. She's wearing one of the 12 Dancing Princesses tutus and it fits her really well. She's really, really cool. I would love to know which doll this is. She's very, very pretty. 
And next is this doll. Ooh, she's pretty. She's very nice. She's an African-American one. She's got the Christy face mold. She's got really nice, wavy, dark hair. She has a silver stamp, so I'll be able to identify her pretty fast. But she has articulated knees. I do not have this doll. She's really nice. Um, I do not know who she is, but I do really like her. I like this doll's face sculpt a lot. And then we have another Disney Store doll. We have a Snow White, and she is wearing her dress. And she is very, very beautiful. She's got her headband and her dress, and she is in great condition, as like most of these dolls. I do not know if I have her already. It's really hard to tell with Disney Store dolls. I'll have to look and see. But either way, I will probably be keeping her because she is very nice and in really, really nice shape. These are amazing dolls that you are giving me. Thank you so very much for these. It's so kind of you to send me all of these. I... I'm so flattered that you would send me so many beautiful things. Now, this is a vintage doll, and I do not have her, and I really like her a lot. She's got super fun platinum blonde crimps, and she's got really pale makeup. I really like her, and she has articulated knees. She's super fun. I'm excited to dress her in some super 80s looking clothes to match her crimps and maybe like pull half of the hair up in like a super fun 80s themed hairstyle love it okay next doll Ooh, i do not have this one she's pretty so she is one of the like more basic like blonde haired blue eyed barbies but i find that those have their own charms she's really nice she's got really pretty makeup and nice straight hair and it's really nice and soft she has articulated knees i do not know who she is but i will definitely be keeping her the next doll is this one, and I do not know who she is, but I really like her as well. Her face is a little bit squished, so I'll have to probably boil wash it to get the like the dent out. It looks like somebody had like set something on her. But she's really pretty. She's got really nice fluffy Kanekalon hair and really large eyes, and she has a hobbit body, as you can see. I do not know who she is, but I really like her. I think she's really interesting looking. Yeah, I like her a lot. Next doll is one of the Barbie ballerina dolls. Now, I do have one already, but I can never get too many ballerina dolls, and I do actually have an extra outfit for her. She's super nice. Her hair also seems done. It looks like you guys did all of these dolls' hairs and stuff for me. Thank you so much. Like, they're really, really nice, and they smell so good. But she's really pretty. I love this doll's makeup. It's really, really nice. Moving on to the next doll. We're getting close. I can see the bottom. There's also a gorgeous polka dotted skirt right here. It's blue and it's got tons of fun polka dots all over it. Here is, oh my goodness, I do not know who she is. She's crazy looking. Who is she? I do not recognize this doll. If you guys know, let me know in the comments because she's crazy. She's got really, really long blonde hair and gold earrings and that is what her face looks like. She's really interesting. I do not know who she is though, so please let me know in the comments. The next doll is a Ken, and it looks like he's one of the newer fashionistas Kens based on his, like, posing of his arms. He is very, very handsome. I like him a lot. And then we have this very, ooh, I love this skipper. I love this skipper. She's really beautiful. She's got super pale makeup, and she does not have purple streaks, but she's got this blonde streak underneath. How beautiful is she? Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I love her. She's so nice. Yeah, she's definitely one of my favorites. She's so, so beautiful. I love her. Okay, next doll is... Oh, this is a midge. And I think mean, the entire stack of Barbies just fell because there are literally a thousand. But this is a very pretty midge. It looks like she may have had a haircut, but it actually suits her very nicely. This may be like one of the happy family ones, but I'm not sure. She is super nice. I do not have a lot of midge dolls from like this time period, so I'm super excited about her. Three dolls left. We have a Mariposa doll from Barbie Mariposa. I do have her already, but this is one of my favorite Barbie face sculpts. I think it's very beautiful. I love the large brown doe eyes, and I love this tiara. She's very beautiful. She's in great shape, too. Two more dolls. An adorable Chelsea, who I do not have, who's wearing an adorable dress. Here's what she looks like. She's got straight across bangs, and she's wearing this very, very cute dress that I'll probably just leave her in, honestly, because she looks great in it. Her hair seems to be done as well. It's very, very nice. She's super pretty. 
And the last doll is a doll I do not recognize, but she has a Model Muse Barbie, and I love her. She is really, really pretty. I think she may be like one of the newer holiday Barbies, though I am not sure. She is really nice, though. She's got, you know, the Model Muse body, and she's got her half of her hair pulled up, and she's got a very beautiful face. She's got really nice, natural makeup, and she is so cool. Oh, my gosh. That is empty the box is now officially empty there's nothing more in it but there were so many dolls i that was amazing you sent me so many beautiful beautiful things i do not deserve to have subscribers like you guys you guys are so sweet i just feel bad that you had to pay so much for shipping to ship that giant box but thank you so so much i genuinely love each and every doll that was sent in each article of clothing and every shoe i love thank you so very much but that wraps up the video i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned because i actually am going to be doing a doll trade with a couple of people and i am expecting their packages in very very soon but I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. If you liked this video and the previous part, give them a thumbs up and comment below if you are able to identify any of the dolls. And stay tuned for more videos. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.